Welcome back to Disney Squad Gaming. Today we are continuing the Order Master Supreme. So what I've done is I went ahead and uh, had a little screw up and I recovered these trucks then realized that uh, the trucks were where I needed them to be. So um, yeah. Anyways, not that big of a deal. But what I want to do is get... Let's see, we need a total of two, four, six slots. <laughs> uh, so technically, I, I could almost do this with one truck. Uh, but we're going to get the typical box trailer for this one. And so as you can see, this is the uh, the original Dairy Longhorn. The, uh, the good truck. And let's change to... I guess we gotta. I get we 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 gotta change like that for some reason. Uh, and this is our new Dairy Longhorn. And unfortunately, uh, what I did is when I recovered this truck, I went ahead and put uh, mud tires on it just to see how how much difference it could make uh, between chain tires and mud tires when you're in the mud. Unfortunately. Uh, what I did and I didn't realize that I damaged this thing a million and a half. So uh, Let's uh, first things first Because we're uh, at the trailer store Let's get uh, Where is it the repair trailer? Probably well, you know what this one might work and let's repair it and uh, suspension. Oh, wow. We really damaged this thing. Uh, okay, so the wheel was fixed, so that's good. Let's, uh, oops. Let's actually return this trailer, because we, uh, used all the parts out of it. And we'll buy it again. Which will allow us to refuel. Which I probably should shut down <laughs> this truck. And uh, let's go back to the repair. Let's finish the suspension. All right, that's that's good to go. So we can uh, we can go ahead and sell this trailer once again. It's uh, yeah. I had a I had a very interesting drive over here. So uh, now the sad part is is I left the high saddle on. So. Yeah, we got to see if we have a trailer that will fit the high saddle. I mean, I guess the three axle would be better. Oh, we don't have enough space. This must be a big trailer then. Now we could just go ahead and do uh, a tongue trailer. I mean, we have we have what we need as far as space. Um, but you know, I want to I want to go with this trailer. I want to try one that we haven't used in a while. And I really wish, I really, really, really wish I ended up, uh... Okay, hold on camera, stop. Let's change trucks. Nope, not that truck. I want that truck. Let's grab the supplies that we need. Uh, which are metal beans. Sweet. One, one... <laughs> One item. And uh, let's get uh, everything. Um, yeah, let's get everything ready to, to be shipped out. So uh, after the poll that I put on the uh, online there, uh, it turns out that everyone seems to be in favor of selling trailers and then dumping or returning to a garage and then retaining and then moving to a different garage so that I don't have as much travel time. So I'm up for it. 
I just wanted to run it past you guys and um, create some of that uh, YouTube connectivity mojo, whatever you want to call it, and uh, get everyone involved, kind of, kind of thing, right? We wanna, we wanna feel like a community, so um, I'm asking you guys questions and seeing how you guys feel. So, and you guys pretty much feel like I do, where it's it's a part of the game. It's not an exploit. It's not cheating uh, uh, by any means. Um, it's, it's a part of the game, so. Anyways, let's change the truck. Let's roll this one out. I, I wish my comparison would have gone much better if we had the exact same trailer. But unfortunately, we're so far away from a garage. Uh, Mountain River doesn't have any. And then Pedro Bay won't have any, so. Uh, but anyways, pretty much what we have here is... Uh, this truck will handle the mud and snow terrains, and then the other truck will handle the ice and, well, basically just the ice and snow, so. Uh, but let's, uh, change back to the Dairy Longhorn, and let's get this hooked up, and let's get on the road, because I, I feel like I've been talking way too much. And we're gonna go with that one. So, technically... Technically, we could just leave this truck at the top of the hill, but I'm uh, I'm gonna drag it along for fun. And what we'll probably end up doing is once we cut through this trail. Oops, probably helps if I turn all-wheel drive on and maybe lock up the diff. But we'll uh, we'll leave this truck off. We'll we'll have this truck go left up the hill and then the other truck will go down and pick up the rest of the supplies because I believe to four yeah four everything should go on the truck as planned or on the uh, the bed I don't know I'm a, the, the whole retaining and, and returning I don't know why but it threw me off especially when I realized that the trucks were right where this needed to be <laughs> I kind of had set that up. Um, yeah, I can't really tell. Are we stuck? No. Um, well, we are kind of stuck. But that's okay. In fact, let's go ahead and pull. We'll get this truck up out of the way. But yeah, so it's... Uh, I, I almost wanted to go back into the file, because the only way you can reset the game, I guess, to before I started playing and recovered, is to go into the save files of, of Windows and actually start moving stuff around there. And I have done it before when when certain things uh, didn't quite work out for me. Oh wow, so this trailer... It must be stuck on something. There we go. Let's go into first person mode and then get the tree we want. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I didn't I, I really didn't feel like going through all that. Uh, which would have probably been faster in the long run, because it's a long drive. And that was the drive that I was kind of dreading uh, to do, which is why I came up with the idea of seeing what you guys thought about uh, selling the trailers and retaining, but anyways, we are now off to the races where we can get stuck once again. Yeah, this trailer is uh, going to screw up my comparison, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to fix that. Like, this trailer doesn't even fit through here. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, where's my dot? Give me my dot. Thank you. I thought I went with a narrower trailer. But apparently this thing is uh, ever wide. 
All right, so this is gonna be a little sketchy with uh, not having chains on, but I think we'll be okay. This truck feels faster, does it not? Ah, eh, maybe it's just because it's wider. It's one of it's one of those things. Um. So yeah, let's see here. We need. Uh oh. Yep, I screwed that up. Concrete slabs are two slots each, not one. Yeah, I need I need to make my little crib sheet and. <laughs> Um, and I guess what we'll do is we'll throw on one bag of cement and then that will be, well, that will be one of the, one of the drop-offs. And we gotta go around this metal giant pole. Perfect. And I guess we're going to have to go get the other trailer because, well, like I said, I screwed up. <laughs> um, I don't know why I was thinking concrete slabs were only one. But that's all right. Uh, let's let's go ahead and park her up here. We'll uh, stop the engine. We'll jump to the other dairy. I guess we're just going to have to back this up. Which I mean... We kind of have the perfect location to do it in. Except I went ahead and hit a tree. But that's not too surprising. <laughs> Nothing ever goes as smoothly as it should. Alright, so I believe this is... This is definitely part two, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll have a... I believe a part three as well. So we've got two concrete slabs and one cement. So concrete slabs we are good on, so we just need... Ah, we just need one more cement. Perfect. I guess I could have... kept the cement for myself. Okay, let's, let's just double check, because I don't want to leave and, and screw this up. We've got two cements, two concrete slabs, and one metal beam. Yeah, we should be good. <laughs> I don't want to have any more surprises than I need to this this round. Uh, it looks like it's already starting to get dark. Uh, you know what? We'll 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 switch to morning once we get to uh, Pedro Bay. Oops! Didn't mean to stop the engine there. I'd almost prefer to say that I stalled it. <laughs> Which is embarrassing enough. Alright, so let's turn on that engine. Let's get the truck closer to together. There we go. Alright, now we're moving. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, I, although we're not moving very fast. So I'm also, uh, I'm also kind of wondering if this truck will have enough grip to be able to pull the other truck up hills since it doesn't have chain uh, tires. So this might be a good little test for that. Um, unfortunately, being two different trailers, that kind of throws that comparison, direct comparison of tires out the window. But I guess in the long run, because I don't have the exact uh, materials and, and weights and all that fun stuff on the trailers, it probably doesn't matter anyways. But yeah, this seems to be extremely slow. And I don't know why, the other dairy seem to be faster. That's so strange. Well, this is the giant hill, so hopefully we'll hopefully we'll make it up. I 
Okay, low plus is out of the question. I guess we should have just left it in auto. And I'm not going to lie, it would be nice if uh, I could have the differential on right now. Okay, we seem to be okay. We seem to be okay. Come on. Engage first gear. Come on, you can do it. Well. That answers my question about not being able to get that truck up. I think it's our one truck holding us up. Alright, let's see if we can get higher. Now I can't even get up the hill. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's see if, if we can get to about there. Let's change trucks real quick. Let's attach the winch. Wow. It's like we're not even in gear. <laughs> it's like we weren't even in gear, guys. Okay, this might have been a bad idea not to have chains. I'm going to go ahead and lock our differential. Alright, perfect. Let's uh, cut off to the side here. where we can properly get this stuck. We can, uh... I want to see something, too. Let's change trucks. Because now that I have that truck with the differential on and the... and it in low gear, will it drive better? I've always wondered that. Does the settings of the tow truck, or the towing truck, or the towed, yeah, the settings of the, the orange truck. <laughs> I, I guess this is the bad way of uh, trying to explain. But does that truck help out more? Because now it seems to be spinning its tires better. Which to me states that it does matter. And because, yeah, of course.
Although when I come back to this truck, everything's set back to normal, so we gotta go nice and wide. So let's uh let's try to go a little bit wider here. There we go. Change trucks. Attach winch. Okay, and we're off now. Okay, hopefully that was the hardest part of this mission. Um, I do want to jump to a garage. Hopefully ASAP. <laughs> and basically put uh, the low saddle on the secondary. Let's figure out where we need to go. So, what is the closest? The trailer store's there. That's a pickup, though. Oh, that's probably because it has, uh, I think it has metal beams on it. Uh, so we gotta go to the factory, we gotta go to the stock loading. And the warehouse. Where is the warehouse? Oh, there's the warehouse. Okay, so stock loading is concrete, slab, and cement. So yeah, we really can't, um... Come on. Hey, you really can't take one truck or the other. Oh, I forgot I was going to skip to morning. Something does seem very strange with this truck. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It feels very, very slow. And it, it can't be the weight. Those concrete slabs would weigh way more than those metal beams would. Huh. I'm not really sure what's going on. For some reason this truck feels slow, but maybe it's just me. I feel like I, I, it's horribly slow. I wonder if it is because it's damaged? I mean, the engine's slightly damaged. The suspension's really damaged, but... Is that why it feels so slow? Like, here, if I take... Let's change trucks real quick. <laughs> and me with no chains on this truck. Oh, uh, I wonder if that, that was probably a bad idea. Look at me sliding around. Oh, that was a horrible, horrible, horrible idea. Yep, look at me just slide. Uh, let's attach the trucks. Seriously? I was clearly in the circle. Okay, so we need to get a little bit of grip before we can actually check to see if this is, uh, if this truck is faster, which I think it is. I, and I think they both have the same, uh, off-road gearbox to them. Yep, we're going to slide right into the snow. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, you're not supposed to tow a vehicle like that. We can't even get this truck up this hill. 
All right. I may have screwed up. I'm not. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. We. We may have screwed up. Um. All right. Well, let's just change trucks. We'll get this one to go up the hill. And we're going to have to pull this one up. It's, it's, it's our only option. Oh yeah, and the fact that uh, this truck's almost out of gas now. This is the weird part about this game. Because I feel like I'm experienced, but I'm still making so many rookie mistakes. Um... But let's get this up the hill. I don't recall if I have a option for fuel anywhere. I may be, um... I may be having to steal fuel out of the other dairy, if it has any. Or we may be, uh, having to get a fuel truck out here. We do have a scout vehicle that's not far away. That might give us just enough fuel. That's probably the best option. The, um... Yeah, the, the cat, I think, is back in the garage, so... It's at least two maps away. So yeah, um, well, you know what? We're gonna see what uh, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna try to get as close as we can to dropping off some of these supplies. That will definitely lighten up the load a little bit. Unless I happen to be by. Oh, I'm right by a fuel tanker, believe it or not. Um, so... Yeah, I think we're gonna have to make that detour first. That makes, um, all the sense in the world. As long as we can make it there. You know what? I'm going to detach it. So we're going to leave that truck there for now. I'm down to 10 gallons. I know it's right there, but... Uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And I really don't want to run out of fuel. So we have a task here. And I think this is the, uh, the place that we found uh, when we were looking for upgrades. All right, we got 10 gallons left. Let's refuel this thing. All right, we're good to go there. I feel better. I feel better now. Really? I've got the engine floored. And none of my tires are spinning. There we go. That's a little strange. Um, if I didn't have enough power to spin some of the tires, Putting it in all-wheel drive isn't going to just magically allow me to pull it forward. So I can I can easily say that this trailer sucks. <laughs> Might as well be blunt about it. Uh, 
It's way too wide, it's way too heavy, it's way too low. And I think that's really what is uh, slowing me down right now. Like it's faster if I go and put my differential on and go into low. Alright, so this truck is not nearly as empty, which is kind of not too surprising. We gotta go wide here, and I have a stump in the way. Let's hope that's got enough. Yep, we're clear. Alright, let's see if we can take, uh, make a... Uh, Use at least a hundred gallons to get out of here. So let's uh, change trucks. Start the engine. Come on. Let's throw the winch on. I think that's yeah, that's the winch winch points. And let's actually check the map real quick. Okay, so we gotta go back out and go straight across the road. Easy peasy. You can kind of see the uh, path that the second trailer is taking. So you want to be very careful about going around uh, sharp corners and or immovable objects. And I have a feeling we're going to have an issue in here. Thought so. Let's see if we can uh, change trucks. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> Remember when I said to go wide? <laughs> yeah, wasn't uh, wasn't really lying about that. Uh, but that's a that's a little too wide. Change trucks, that winch. Okay, this is the correct way to go, so. And you know what? I'm just gonna go one truck at a time. Because unfortunately, this is very uh, narrow through here. And bumpy. I don't want to get too far ahead, just in case I gotta come back and, and do a rescue mission. Okay, if it wasn't for that stump, I'd probably pass the other truck. Let's go ahead and change back.
So let's uh, let's pull one cement off of here. We're gonna bury this thing up here for now. And we're gonna see. If we take. Yeah, we'll take one concrete slab off of this. I wish it would take it from the back, but it's probably gonna take it from the front. I did take it from the back. Good. Now we still have some weight on the tire, so uh, what was I doing? I want to change trucks. Sometimes I just have to say it out loud for my brain to actually think about it. Alright. I'm gonna try to cut. Ah, oh, oh, that's not gonna work very well, is it? Oh. All right. Well, you know what? I'll just get that truck out by itself. And I think the river crossing makes the most sense. And the scary part is, is that I have not done it. I don't remember doing this at all, so... I guess we'll kind of wait and see... ...if this works or not. This looks like it's going to be pain in the butt with the other trailer. I think what we need to do is actually hit this right about there. Yep, we'll just go up and over it that way. No, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, this this water here is probably good. Yeah, that that, that looks like a good spot. Uh, Derry, since you don't know how to drive around a telephone pole. We can actually split these two trucks up now because I've got concrete slabs and cement. And I believe the other truck just has metal beams on it. So we can actually fork these off once they uh, get to their respective fork place thing. I love how it's saying I'm going to damage my differential. Come on, cool down. There you go. Although, I guarantee you, the ice bath there would cool it down. Alright. Uh, change trucks. Fire this up. 
patch the winch. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I figured I'd try it one more time. Oh good, there's a trailer in my way. How convenient. How bloody convenient. Alright, let's see if we can just go up and around. All right, we'll leave the dairy there. We'll we'll figure it out later. <laughs> uh, I am a little nervous about this mud, but you know what? There's telephone poles. We should we should be fine. Now I just want to make sure that I take this truck to the to the correct location, because <laughs> um, that would that would be bad. Um, so once we pick up some steam here, and I do believe the warehouse, yeah, takes the beam. So let's. Let's set head south, and it's not this road. It's this road. I did that last time where I really screwed up because I took the trucks through the wrong route, the wrong route, and then I tipped over. So I had to get the crane out, and I believe after I loaded up the crane, I realized that I was in the wrong spot, but. Yeah, that was kind of embarrassing. Just kind of. I don't think we're far now. I hope we're not far. We are. I just took a look at the time. We've got about uh, roughly 15 minutes left of this episode, give or take. I always, I always try to make them an hour, ish. <laughs> I think the upgrade video was like an hour and 20 minutes. It was, uh, yeah. It was it was ridiculous, but it, it was good because we actually got uh, a couple of upgrades, especially for the Hummer. Uh, so the Hummer is actually we, we we actually have to try that out as a, a scout vehicle now because it is it's horrible in the snow. Let's just put it that way. But now that I think it has differential capabilities, and then I believe we got the bigger engine for it. That should uh, make a big difference for it. Come on, you can do it. That's why I didn't want to take out, take you out of the, your differential. Take your differential off, whatever you want to call it. Turn it off, not take it off. Take it off is a whole different story. All right. Whoops, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, nope. You're telling me I could have gotten concrete blocks from here? Nope, these are concrete blocks. These are the single ones. It's the slabs. Anyways, that's taken care of. Let's go ahead and stop this engine. We'll head back to the other dairy, which is stuck on a trailer. Which is really going to be a nightmare for the trailer that I'm pulling.
Come on. All right, well, now that that trailer is completely blocking the road, that's that's pretty sad. <laughs> We're going to have to drag. Maybe we can drag that one back, too. Got to I got to get rid of some of these trailers that are just laying around. I probably should just delete them. I mean, I have as much. I have all the money I need in this game. Um, unless I'm trying to buy every single vehicle. As you can see, the trailer that I'm pulling right now is keeping me from even getting up this small hill. Uh, which pretty much tells me that it is pretty, whoops, is pretty useless of a trailer. Um, so we're gonna probably never use this trailer again. It's like they just designed trailers and didn't bother to test them to see if they were actually good or not, or useful. In this case, this trailer's not even useful. Like, ooh, it's a little bit wider. Ooh, yay. No, no. We have trailers that are wide. And you know what? Those trailers suck too, so. Anyways. We will uh, definitely get this truck and uh, hitch change, or yeah, just the hitch and trailer. That's what I was trying to say. All right, so this is a pretty quick uh, drop off, so. Well, we definitely made it back. We definitely have enough time on the clock, so. And uh, yeah, this is uh, part two of Order Master Supreme completed. So stage two is done. We now need concrete slabs and two cargo containers. Is that what I dropped, just dropped off? It is, isn't it? That's a little annoying. Ugh. Oh wow, I didn't damage myself. That's amazing. All right, let's just double check and make sure that, yep, concrete blocks, which is not what we need. So this truck, we, we can actually leave this truck here for now. Uh, I will... Where's the closest trailer store? Oh, it's not too far away. We can make it. That actually should wrap up this episode. So we'll, uh, we'll return this trailer, because it sucks. And the, uh, the red trailer that is just kind of floating in the middle of, uh, of the road. We're gonna we're gonna return that one as well. Ooh, uh oh, I'm sliding. It's icy. What can I do? Like, jeez, it's not my fault. The road's covered in ice. Somebody should be out here salting. Anyways, I'm kind of gung ho just to to go ramming speed into this trailer, but I uh, I have a feeling with the mud that's here that that's not gonna happen. In fact, I'm hoping we can get this trailer through this mud. Because that way we had a telephone pole to latch onto. Here, not so much. We definitely have a better angle of approach, so we should be able to steer clear of the trailer until we pass it. I mean, we'll, we'll drag it a little bit, but not nothing too bad. Oops. There I go again, stopping the engine. What is that, the third time I've done it? Fourth time I've done it, because I just did it again? 
Come on, catch winch. There we go. Now we can get this trailer out of here. I think it's just around the bend across the bridge. That's where uh, Grandma's house was, right? With the r little red riding hood. Something like that. Did I mention that I'm slowly lo losing my mind? Uh, oh. You know what? Let's double check and make sure. Okay, so I gotta go up to the main intersection. We'll, we'll do this. Boom. So it's a little bit farther away than I thought, but we should still be able to make it. Should is the, uh, the word. Yeah, like, even this just feels really heavy through here. We've got the tires to do it. Do we have the power? Or the patience. <laughs> We've got just, uh, well, we're right about 50% with our gas, so we should be fine there. Yep, trailer's staying right behind us. I mean, I, I suppose we could have done this, too. Um, I mean, it makes it a little bit harder to attach things or to, to load the, the second trailer. But we technically could just use the one truck and pull two trailers with it. But not with this trailer, because this trailer is horrible. Just slow and steady now, that's all we need. Slow and steady. Alright, so there we go. There's the metal beams. We could have used them, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and sell this uh, stupid trailer. And that gives us room. Oh, I was like, why can't I go in reverse? My differential's uh, engaged. But let's uh, hook this up. Thank you, Alexa. I, uh, <laughs> I'm actually shocked that's the first time that's happened. Anyways, uh, let's uh, not detach the trailer. Let's go to the trailer store and sell that thing. Oh, the whopping 4,200 bucks. That's amazing. Uh, this thing, is this, I think this is the high. Oh, 
Oh. All right, you know what? We are going to get the other truck over here. And I don't care how long it takes. It, it really shouldn't take that long at all, actually. Because we're going to sell this trailer. The cargo containers. Can you not get the cargo containers from... No, cargo containers were from... Okay. I was thinking the Aerodome. I was thinking the one in... Um... No, that is White Valley, isn't it? Oh, now I'm losing my mind. Yeah, that is White Valley. That doesn't make any sense. I swear you got the cargo container from there. Uh, where are we? We're Pedro Bay. So there's nothing in Pedro Bay. Uh, I love how I'm figuring this out now. And Mountain River? Cool, so that's, that's where we can get him Mountain River. The warehouse though is a pain in the butt to get to. That warehouse has metal slabs, or metal slabs, concrete slabs. And that one also has concrete slabs. So no, we are going all the way back to, uh, we're going all the way back to Northport. Because we will pick up, I think everything, right? Nope. Cat. So we got to get the two cargo containers from Northport. So we'll put those on trucks and then we'll pick up two concrete slabs. And is it Mountain River that has the concrete slabs? Yeah, I guess we could grab those two from there. I think both warehouses have concrete slabs. Yeah. Okay. No, that's that's fine. But uh, needless to say, we need to get moving. We're going to sell this trailer, and then we're going to sell this trailer with the two uh, concrete beams on it. Or, sorry, I did it again. Metal beams. There's no concrete beams in this game. Come on. Oversized cargo containers. Hmm. Those are four slots each. I know that for sure. Um. Where are they two slots each? Yeah, because the oversized concrete. Or the oversized cargo container. That's four slots. You know what? I really got to bring up a cheat sheet. I really need to. <laughs> uh, but concrete slabs. So that's four slots there. And then I believe we have, a, again, we have six slots, so... Um... Yeah. We are going to have to... I think we're going to have a third trip. Yeah, unless I pull... I can't even do that. Hmm. Yeah, this one's just a little... A little out of uh, range, I guess. I mean, I could do a whole thing where I set up... I gotta realize which way I'm going. Um... Okay, so... This way... Cross the bridge, this way, and then there. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm thinking if I grab... If I grab the longer trailer, and haul that... It will basically have the cargo containers on that. And then I can get another truck to do the concrete slabs. No, the concrete slabs are forced... No, I'm, what am I thinking? If I'm right about the cargo container only being two, which I'm pretty sure I am, 
That's only eight slots total. Um, so yeah, we'll be fine. Two slabs on one truck, two cargo containers on another truck. We're good to go. We will definitely be good to go. Problem is, is the, the route that we take to get there. <laughs> and I think what we do is we kind of split off until we get to uh, White Valley. But I guess that depends on where you come out to. It all depends on where the tunnels are. We'll, uh, we'll have to figure that out in the next episode. Because um, we are slightly going over time right now. Just because this seems to be taking its its sweet time of, of getting to where we need to go. I guess I could probably put it back in auto and speed things up. turn on our headlights because uh, it is getting kind of dark now that <laughs> the snow is so blinding let's actually go to the interior shop might not be so hard on the eyes yeah this this truck just seems extremely slow right now I think I think we need to get it back to the base and uh, repair it Well, I could take a nap here and, and wait till morning, but let's just get it done. Pretty sure it said this way. Yep. See, I almost went the wrong way. Almost went the wrong way again. Alright, we should be uh, wrapping things up shortly. Little little bit of a splash down here. Wash a little bit of mud off. But now it's uh, already caped back in mud. Come on. All right, we're we're almost there. We're almost there. You can do it, truck. You can do it. Oops. There we go. Guess I should zoom out a little bit. All right. And sell it. Wherever it is. There it is. Alright, and let's throw this trailer on. This is a four slot trailer. I don't think we've ever actually used this trailer. Yeah. I'm tempted. It does look kind of low to the ground. Um, so let's uh, unpack. Let's remove the cargo. We'll sell it. And that was pretty much a free 5700 bucks. So that's, uh, that's kind of convenient and nice. Let's go ahead and recover this truck. And we will call that an episode, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit frustrating. I probably should have done my research or my... Um, I probably should have looked into what I was doing. Yeah, I guess my research. Why not? Let's just call it that. Um, and I should have got the right saddle on the truck because that ultimately is what uh, 
made this episode frustrating for me. Uh, but you know what? I'm sure you've had your uh, your share of frustrations in this game, and and that's what it's all about. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe because every subscription goes to the channel and that helps uh, helps us grow. So um, also I do have a discord, so check my info on YouTube and you can find it there. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Anyways, uh, have a good one, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.